I think that um, a few years ago when we, the Native community, had challenges around um, Carruthers Park naming um, at the south water, southwest waterfront, um, several of our community members kind of brought it to our attention. They had historical knowledge of what was going on, and and as um, Portland Youth and Elders Council, we had an existing relationship with the commissioner in charge of parks. Um, Commissioner Nick Fish, and we had started to build relationships with Portland Parks around Native American recognition. So I think um, we were able to come to the table and express our frustrations and express, you know, a really um, honest um, concern of, about what was going on. I mean, things were literally being written into into stone that we had a big concern about. And um, through various meetings and, and knowing that our community members were really um, concerned about this topic, we had come to a point where we knew that our discussions weren't going to change the situation. And so our community members actually decided to organize a protest of the park renaming. And at the 11th hour, um, we were able to come to um, an agreement with the commissioner's office and, and the park's office, and we were able to participate in a good way with um, that park ceremony. Um, and at the same time, you know, we have diverse views in our Native community who um, still participated in the protest, and that's totally acceptable, and we can learn to live with each other and and know that it's it's okay that we have um, we had those two things going on because that's the diversity of and the strength of organizing for a community. We had people protesting and we had people dancing and playing drums and being part of the the ceremony. So that was a, actually an, a beautiful expression of civic engagement that day. <laughs>